<clears throat> What's going on, y'all? How you doing? You here for another talk with me, Perkins Talks. All things Perkins. Listen, y'all. I want to read y'all a scripture real quick before we, before we start. It says, The Lord will fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Now, let me read it in a different version, because this is a version that I really took it out of. And I really tried to uh, apply it to my life. So when I uh, started out doing my shirts, this was actually the very first verse I've seen. Um, but this wasn't, um, I'm trying to find the version that I really like, felt strongly towards. Um, the Lord will fight for you while you keep silent. I really thought that was powerful. The reason why I'm going to tell you that that's powerful is because I think that there's a lot of times uh, for us as individuals that we want to respond to somebody, that we want to um, tell somebody, because if, if especially if they come at us in a certain way or uh, they speak negative about our character or they speak negative about who we are. Uh, we want to respond. We want to say. We want to give an answer to uh, that criticism. We want to give an answer to a reason why we did what we did, or the reason why we are the way we are. Listen, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. You don't have to give a response to anybody about anything. The Lord will fight for you. All you gotta do is keep silent. So originally, when I created the shirts, right, um, I had the lion face, the blood looking like the blood came out. Uh, the face. I want to see if I can put a picture right here so y'all can see it. But the uh, but I I came out with that um, with that because it was like the Lord was fighting for me, you know. Because there's times that somebody will come speak 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 on my behalf or or rather speak to me and and say oh this is happening or that's happening or or you're yeah, this you're yeah, that. At the end of the day, the Lord's gonna fight for me. The Lord's gonna fight my battles, you know. And and yes, this scripture was take is the scripture. If you read the whole verse, if you read the whole chapter, uh, Exodus fourteen, you will see that it's talking about the Red Sea and how the people are scared to go over to Red Sea because the Israel because the Israel no because the Egyptians were behind them trying to attack them, and basically uh, he's like, yo. God is on our side. I don't know what y'all complaining for. I don't know what y'all crying about. I don't know what y'all whining about. Because, yo, dead that right now. Because the Lord's going to fight for us. So, I don't understand why y'all like this. I don't understand why y'all trying to get up in a frenzy about, about whatever the case may be. And so, when I heard the scripture, because one time I did hear the scripture. Um, I, don't, I don't remember exactly where I was at when I, heard the, when I first heard the scripture. Uh, but when I heard the scripture, I was like, man, dog, that's a diesel. That's a diesel scripture, man. And it always stuck with me. And so, uh, so when I, when I was, when it was came time to create my shirts, uh, that was the first, like I said, that was the very, very first, uh, verse that I made, uh, that I thought about, uh, when it came to making the shirts and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to use this verse because the fact of the matter is, is that, uh, like I said before, a lot of times we want to give an answer to, uh, we want to give an answer when someone comes, when someone tries to come at our character, we want to give an answer to uh, when someone tries to come up, come up against us. But you know what? You don't have to. Stay silent. Because if you are a noble gentleman or if you are um, a person of, uh, of good character, people will speak up for you. People will say, no, that, mm, I don't know him to be like that. Sorry. I don't, I don't, that doesn't sound like him. That, that doesn't. A lot of times in our house, whenever my mom would talk to uh, people outside of the house about what was going on inside our house, which I hated that. Um, she started saying how, um, how my behavior was, this, 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 this. And a lot of people, they were like, I don't know Charles to be like that. Cause Charles is nice. Charles, Charles is friendly. Charles, Charles gives us hugs in, on on Sundays. Charles gives Charles shows us love. Charles is respectful, you know. But of course, they didn't know me inside the house because with my mom, I'm one way. But of course, in the streets, I'm very respectful. You understand what I'm saying? But once again, see, you have those people defend you. That's my point. 
You have these people defending you because they know your character. They know who you are. They know how you will respond to something. So the moment that somebody tries to say, oh, uh, 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 Charles or this person is A, B, C, D, F, G, they're like, mm, nah, I don't know about that. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I don't know about that. But a lot of times what happens is that when someone comes against our character or when someone says something that we don't like, we automatically want to respond. Instead of thinking first, we automatically want to just uh, um, uh, give a rebuttal to, to whatever the case is and automatically just say, oh, nah, boom, 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 boom. And then that's how we get into more problems. That's how we get into fights. That's how we get into arguments, disputes, and stuff that we shouldn't even, we shouldn't even be involved in. But the moment that you take the time, say, hmm, okay, all right, and just, just step away from the situation, you know? Just step away from the situation. Step back from the situation. Just say, you know what? I'm just going to let it be what it is, you know? I'm, I'm not going I'm not, I'm not to give a response. I'm not going to, I'm not going to just uh, say what I want to say right about now. I'm going to take this moment to, to just refrain from speaking, and I'm going to step back. I'm going to take this moment, instead of me saying uh, something that's probably going to uh, hurt me in the end, I'm going to take this moment to step back. I'm going to take this moment to not respond, not say anything, just keep my cool and keep calm, keep quiet. Because if I was to respond in the way that I want to respond, it ain't going to be good. It ain't going to be good. Remember uh, uh, when Moses was leading the people out of... Um, out of Egypt, uh, they wanted water, and Moses was getting just frustrated. So what do you do? Instead of uh, hitting the rock, or instead of like was uh, speaking to the rock like you're supposed to, what do you do? He beat the rock, man. He beat the ball of the rock, and then of course you know substance happened from it. But yet he didn't have to do what he did. You just be calm about it. Calm, be cool. And I know that's a hard thing because I'm. I'm, sp I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I'm telling y'all from personal experience, it's a hard thing to be calm, especially when uh, when the situation is against you, when everything is against you. It is hard just to be calm in that situation. But you know what? A lot of times we gotta take the high road. And whatever that looks like in your situation, whatever that looks like, uh, what you're dealing with, you gotta take the high. road road <laughs> for real oh man like seriously you just gotta take the high road and say you know what I ain't gonna respond I ain't gonna respond I ain't gonna get mad I ain't gonna get, I ain't, I ain't, I'm not even gonna say nothing I'm not gonna say nothing I'm gonna sit this one out I'm gonna sit this battle out because if I respond in the way I'm, mm, I'm gonna sit this one out <laughs> for your safety my safety I'm gonna sit this one out Man, I've even told that to a cop one time. But he didn't listen. He didn't care. Still arrested me. But anyway. Um, but yeah, so like like I said, you know, when I when I when I first when I when I first heard the verse, I was like, man, that's that that's some true that's some truth right there, you know. Um Of course it's times where I do um have the urge just to speak up or say something or come to my own defense, but I need to start to realize that God is my advocate. The Holy Spirit is my advocate. And he's the one that will speak up. In times of like this, when everything is against me and when everyone's against me, God is going to be the one that's going to speak up and that's going to say something. So, boy, why, why I got to worry? Why, why I got to uh, feel, feel whatever? God's going God's to gonna, God's gonna speak. And then, you going you gonna hear the mighty voice of God, like that thunder was saying yesterday. That that's how, that's how loud God's voice is gonna be. He's gonna rumble the whole earth, he's gonna shake it up, shake it up, turn y'all turn y'all upside down, just start shaking y'all for real, for real, for real, for real. Um, but yeah, it's church time, y'all. Sundays we go to church, so. If you enjoyed this, that's good. If you did enjoy it, I'm sorry. But um, you could pick up a shirt. The link is in the bio description. Um, go to the website, pick up a shirt, buy a shirt, you know. 
I still have the old school shirts, uh, but nobody really, really bought them. But I do have the new school ones too, so check it out. I'll see y'all next time.